Hello, this is JD and we're going to have a look at conditional fields for gravity forms. So here's the example that I've created, which I'm going to replicate in a second. So this is a fictitious conference where we enter our details and we are asked how we are travelling. If we choose public transport, nothing happens. If we choose by car, then we're requested to give our registration plate for parking. And if we come by plane, we're asked to give the flight number. So that's one example of conditional forms. The second one is we have a morning session where we have a choice of three different um, breakout groups to go in. If I choose the first choice, the afternoon, I can only choose the second or the third. Choose the second, I need first and third, third. You see, so my choice of the morning will influence what I do in the afternoon. Therefore guaranteeing that I don't do the same session twice. So that's the um, two challenges for the form to do. So let's go into the forms and uh, have a look at how we do this. So I'm just going to start with a completely new form and for this example I'll just deal with the two issues. So the first field I'm going to add is um, really have nothing to do with this at all. It's just a simple name field. So we click on that, there's the name field that's there, that's fine. So the next field we're going to add is going to be our first um, field to set conditions from. Now I usually get this wrong so I always have to double check that I'm looking for a radio button field, not a checkbox. If I choose a checkbox then people will be able to tick multiple items. Okay, And I don't want that. What I want is a radio button so that they can only choose one item. Now if I press this button here I get the options to set it all up. So I'll scroll up so you can see everything. So it just so happens that I'm going to Cut and paste some stuff from the original just to save a little bit of time and embarrassing typos. So there's my three options. Uh, what else do I need to do here? Well, um, I have the option of adding other choice, which would mean they could put in an answer of their own. And I may want to, and I think it's probably quite right to make this a required field because if they don't tick it, you, you won't be able to ask the other question. Okay. So that's my question to start the conditional situation going. So the next thing I need to do is now to uh, add two single text fields. Just click there, there they are twice. So the first one is going to be my um, vehicle registration details, isn't it? So pull down the box, scroll it up so you can see, field label, put vehicle registration number, a nice little bit of dialogue just to put in there. And now we have to sort out the conditions. If we leave it as it is now, then that will be asked whatever happens. What we need to do is add conditionality to this field. Now that's in the advanced section and at the bottom of the advanced section you'll see this here, enable conditional logic. So I tick that and I now say show this field if traveling to the conference is by car. That's all I need to do. It's that easy. So that will only now work if travelling to conferences by car.
then the next thing is we were going to have a minibus collect them if they come by plane. Of course, we're assuming they're all going to land at the same airport. So, flight number, and again, advanced field. Scroll down, enable conditional logic. Show this field if traveling by is, we want it now, plane. Close that. Close. So we have the name, we have a question asking how you travel, and then the two conditional fields. Now I'll update the form. And if I now hit preview, we can see that in operation. So put the name in. And when we there is nothing below until I choose okay now that's the first section done that was the easy version now we're going to look at a slightly more complicated problem and that is the problem of these conferences seminars sorry whatever we want to call them so if we um, choose another radio button which as usual always appears at the bottom of the list you can always drag them to other positions if you wish and we're now having the old scroll problem or it's not you it's me okay so we have our first choice or second or choice or third choice so this could be um, we could change that to first group if you like first session whatever but anyhow they've got choices one two and three okay so that's that's why we cut paste John so that's our morning session Okay, now what we can do now is we know it's going to be the same, so we can click on this and it will duplicate the afternoon session. Okay, now you can't say in the conditional logic. Please remove from here the one that's been chosen up there. I'm afraid that's not available at present. What we actually have to do is to create three versions of the afternoon session. One with the first choice missing, one with the second choice missing, and one with the third choice missing. It's a little bit of naughty, a little bit of a workaround, but it's not too difficult to do, and it's so easy to throw these together with gravity forms that it's not really that big an issue so it just takes a little bit of planning and thinking to do this the most efficient way and that is of course to make two further copies of this okay so there we go afternoon session one make a copy of the copy so we've got three afternoon sessions so we start with the top one and we remove the first choice and then in the advanced conditional logic we say show this field if I'm oh, sorry you can't see that let me just scroll up so you can see morning session is first choice that's the first one done we'll close that right second one so we want to remove the second choice in the conditional logic we want to say enable show if morning session is the second choice notice here that you also have the ability to hide so you could have a field that disappears under certain circumstances perhaps I should have made that part of this example sorry I didn't 
And the third session version, we want to remove the third choice. I want to say this one is used, it's shown if, I'm sorry you can't see that because it's scrolling off the bottom of the screen, if the morning session is choice number three. And that update form should be the form working for us. So there we are. Choose by plane, flight number comes up, my car, registration, public transport. That works fine. First choice, I get second and third. Second choice, I get first and third. Third choice, I get first and second. So what's going to happen when you have this information sent to you? Well, as the fields aren't going to be shown, the fact that there are three versions of the afternoon session is not going to show up to you because you'll only see the one that's been chosen. So if you choose all fields, as most customers do, you will get the data coming back to you. And there we are two examples of the way of using conditional forms and next time I do an example I'll try and do one where it hides as well. Thank you very much for watching.